Hello, thanks for joining us. Tonight on Extra, do we need tougher learner driver training to cut our mounting road toll? First up tonight, road safety, and despite continuous warnings, it seems our youngest drivers are still not getting the message. A new study's just found 16 to 18 year olds are a peak group in accidents involving speed, fatigue and alcohol. Lexi Hamilton-Smith's been looking at whether tougher driver training is the answer. A crash course on how to kill yourself. Every year, our road safety campaigns get bloodier and more confronting, provoking outrage from those who say they're all too real. But why not, say Travel Safe campaigners, who are desperate to keep our road toll down. It's too late when a police officer knocks on your front door in the middle of the day or in the middle of the night and says, we've got some bad news for you. The toll to date this year is 157, 16 down on last year, but still way too high. We can't bring them back. It has to be taken seriously. Travel Safe Chairman Jim Pearce has joined these international road safety experts to try and find a way to lower the death rate. In their sights are young drivers, 16 to 18 year olds, all too desperate to get behind the wheel. I oh, certainly don't be arrogant, don't be overconfident. We can all learn something new. But that's the trouble with some driver training these days, said psychologist Ron Christie. We're teaching teenagers how to take on the world when they hit the road. Because when they pass a road safety test, they think they know it all. Well, we can all pass a test or we can all be OK at the end of the training program, but the trainer's got no control over what we do tomorrow or next week. 16-year-old Debbie Thompson can't wait to get her licence. She's going for her learners next week. Yeah, I really can't wait to have that independence. But Debbie may have to wait a little longer, with calls for the state government to lift the minimum driving age or extend the learner's period with a series of tests before they qualify to drive alone. Generally jurisdictions that have got an older licensing age, uh, such as Victoria, Finland, Sweden, generally have a lower road toll because you haven't got such young people driving on the road. Claims that our drivers are just too young came after a two-year study that found a high proportion of newly licensed drivers had either serious or fatal car crashes. In fact, nearly a third of people killed on Queensland roads last year were aged 17 to 24. But the debate over age and the failure of driver education programs is by no means clear-cut with some experts claiming training does help. There's training courses and there's training. They're not all the same. Griffith University Associate Professor Paul Trefner is assessing the Holden Performance Driving Centre's course right now, a program which teaches young people how to control the vehicle by sitting safely first. What is not good is being like this. This is unstable driving. Sit forward, but tilt the seat back and use your knees against the door to brace when turning a corner instead of moving your whole body. None of this crossing over the arms. Simple tools that are teaching young drivers how to stay alive. So what's the answer? Just yesterday, this 20-year-old rolled his car on Mount Cutha. He'd completed a defensive driver course, so was it those skills that saved him from serious injury? Some well-established researchers in the area have criticised driver training programmes, but in my opinion, it's unfounded and far too early. The conference is looking at a string of tough new measures to hand to the state government by the end of the year. It's understood they'll include harsher penalties for those supervising learners, often mum or dad, and calls to lift the driver age to 18. As desperate as she is to get on the road, even Debbie has to admit that has merits. Well, I don't want to end up in other statistics, so if it's going to help save lives, then it's probably a good idea being older. Yes, a bit more maturity and as much as they can learn at a young age. The government is working on a strategy to make defensive driving courses compulsory for everyone. You know, the idea would be that after they've got their licences, uh, they would uh, undertake probably a one-day course of what might be called not so much advanced driving, you know, so you teach them all how to drive even faster, but defensive driving so that they accumulate greater skills with some particular focus on attitudinal issues so that young people are more responsible on the roads. But as the debate continues on how to save young lives, those who know the devastation firsthand hope their pain can be a lesson to everyone. Nobody is eternal. 
So protect your children, teach them how to drive. It's simple. It's really quite simple.